righty, guys. It's well, harder than two coons fucking in a wool sock, guys. That's what's all righty about it, I'm telling you. <laughs> Today, we're going to shoot some federal shorty shells. This is 15 pellets of number four buck. This is what they look like. A one and three quarter inch shell with a roll crimp. These actually look pretty cool. But looking at our specs, we have 12 gauge, one and three quarter inch, 1200 FPS, 15 pellets of number four buck. I'm not a fan of these. They're kind of pricey for what they are, but I know these pattern good. We have shot one of them on video before at seven yards using a 670 extra full turkey choke. And we had a pattern that was literally about that big. Really, really good. But today we're going to use the Mossberg 835. It's not the ideal gun for these, but we're using it mainly because I forgot my single shot at the house. But also because we want to test this choke right here out. It is a heavy shot turkey 676 extra full for the 835. We know that 670 does well as in the true glow chuck. We know that 680 does well as in the kicks. What's the middle ground do? Probably still pretty dang well. But we're going to pattern these at different distances. We'll take the first shot at 42 yards over a chrono to hopefully get the velocity. Although, as you guys can probably, probably tell, it's really bright out here today. And it has been messing with our chrono just a little bit. But that's okay. We'll try anyway. And we'll take the long range shot first. And then go to 7, 15, 20, all that stuff. And just see how these do. I'm pretty hopeful for them because I know from experience these do pattern really, really well. Alrighty, guys. Let's see how these little short things do out of this 676. You want to? Mr. Fly, hold still. I'll take your picture. There's a fly on the barrel. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> I think I scared it. It flew away. Oh, speaking of uh, scaring the fly here, there was a bird up on the power line during that high velocity buckshot video we did. Whenever Josh pulled the trigger, you can see the bird just flinch real bad. It was sitting there all still. And whoop, scared the crap out of it. Why does that have more Mossberg marks than a three and a half? I don't know. Do you uh, see it? Federal 209As are bad for Mossberg marks anyway, but yeah. We have a little bit of flow back, back into the primer or firing pin hole. I almost bet I could fire that three and a half and it would have left less marks on the primer than that. I don't know. You want to test that out real quick? Sure. Let me throw, I'm going to shoot it offhand so that way we can look at the pattern. But watch. Non fired. Pretty. Two and a half ounce load. Yeah, two and a half ounces. Anyways, it's that three and a half that you can see. I don't know if you can or not. But, anyways. That's at three and a half. It's a two and a half ounce load. And like I said. Yep. The three and a half right here is showing less Mossberg marks than the mini shell. That was spicy. <laughs> like I felt that one pretty good, but still it proved my point. That was published load data in that three and a half right from BPI. Yep. It was 42 grains of little gun in a Shadot hull, TPS three and a half inch wad, 2.5 ounces of shot, and a roll crimp. It's got Mossberg marks, but not like nowhere even remotely close to the, that one. Right. Uh, the PSI on that was 11,280, and it was rated at 1080 FPS. My shoulder felt it. <laughs> Now we should delivery man would have shot that one. If we forgot to mention it, that was running 1057, not quite the 1200 it was advertised. But oh well. So we forgot to change the paper, but that's okay. We can still see the buckshot holes. We'll stick some leaves in them or something just to uh, mark them. One second. Well, alrighty guys, you can see the, the spread of uh, greenery is quite vast. But anyways, <laughs> we only got 9 out of the 15. I'm going to pull them out as we go, but we got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of fifteen. Oh, no, my bad. Ten's down here. Ten of fifteen. Okay. That's not horrible, but it is pretty wide. Let's see what these look like at seven. Change paper. All right, guys, we're up here at seven yards now. Again, federal mini shell, 15 pellets of four buck. Let's see what it does at seven. Destruction. <laughs> Told you. The wad is deadly at that distance. Yeah. Okay, so that's a pretty good pattern, but I still think the 32 gauge actually patterns better, believe it or not. 
Let's go look at it. We ain't got far to walk, guys. Y'all can walk with me on this one. Right. But as you can see now, that is... Fairly good pattern. But still, those are in basically a non-tox wad, a uh, little shot cup thing. My 32 gauge patterns better than that at seven yards six and it has four. no shot cup six by four yep y'all can actually see the grid on you can count it out yourself for once with a nice wad strike right beside it yeah punched right through is that all 15 pellets mm -hmm. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen yeah all 15 yeah wad did punch through it but like i was saying 32 gauge actually holds a tighter pattern which is weird Alrighty guys, another mini shell. Only difference is we're two yards farther back at 10 this time. Three. Three. Yep, <laughs> three. Alrighty guys, the only difference is we're back a few more yards. Still the little tiny mini shells. And surprisingly, that opened it up quite a bit moving back three it yards. Really did. Three yards. Again, seven plus three is 10. My 32 gauge at 10 yards would have held like a softball size pattern. With the number four buck what's it look like spicy marks again oh, weird also one more thing these are not patterning as good as the single shot did with a flush mount non-ported 670. i've got a 670 down there we should switch to it i'll walk down and grab it while you show that off all right well you guys can see it opened up quite a lot compared to that first shot at seven i don't know maybe that choke just isn't agreeing with these loads that's what i'm thinking it's also the first time we really used that choke. Yeah. Well, sort of. I'll be right back with the other one, though. All right. So, I counted it overall. It is an 8x8, eight eight, and all 15 pellets are there. It's just not that good of a pattern for 10 yards. Let's see what we got at 20 with the 670 True Glow. It's rolling. All righty, guys. Still the little short shells. Only thing changed is now we're at 20 yards. I take that back. There's another thing that changed. That 676 was throwing weird patterns. It was. So we went back to a 670. Like It's the same constriction anyways as the first choke we shot these out of through the uh, single shot. But let's see what this does. That's better. Punch the hole through the paper. Again. I forgot this thing don't rack them like that. Yeah. Oh, well. Don't get me wrong. It spread it out, but it's like a more of a uniform spread this time. Like. Not like a clump here, then four random things over in Fairyland. Right. In Fairyland. Yep. All right, let's go take a look at it. Look at that. Is that the wad? Yeah. Check that out, guys. The wad is stuck in the paper. As you can see, it is just a little shot cup. Focus. It won't focus. There we go. It looks sort of like a cut down TPS, kind of. Hmm. Same material. But we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Big spread, sort of. I was holding right, well, actually, about where the wad struck. Yeah. And I guess the majority of it's right there, with the exclusion of one, two, three, four so called flyers. I don't know if they're really technically far enough outside of the group, but. For my purposes, they are there and then flyers. <laughs> That's quite wide. That is. I'm not sure if it's even, even worth taking a shot at 30. Probably not. Y'all can see the... Uh, it's opening up quite wide pretty dang fast. Yeah. Well, that paper gave us some bad patterns. Might as well just destroy it. It's it totally the paper's fault. Huh? Yeah, it's it is. It greatly displeased me. I'm very angry at it, as you can tell. Very disgruntled. I'm about to lose my cool. I don't see how you couldn't lose your cool. It's 95 and you're wearing a flannel. Yep. But anyway, I reckon seven yards is close enough. We have federal two ounce 10 gauge turkey loads, 1300 FPS. I have four or five of them. Let's see what I got here. It's hot out here, guys. It's stuck. It's hot out here, guys. That's a factory load, and it's stuck. It ain't okay. coming out. That is really stuck. 
Dang it, Federal. Hot. Yeah, I cannot get this open. So you almost destroyed the paper. <laughs>